How to build an eclipse. First, you will need a flashlight to represent the sun. You will need a large ball to represent the earth and a small ball to represent the moon. You will need some Play-Doh or a couple potatoes. You need two wooden skewers or two straws or two popsicle sticks. Alright, now that we have all of our materials, let's turn on our sun and get, get putting everything together. So, we'll take our earth, and I'm using skewers, so I'll take a little bit of tape and my skewer, and I will tape it to the ball. So that the earth is held up like this. There you go. Um, I will then do the same thing with the moon. Take the skewer, take the moon, take the piece of tape, and tape the moon, or take, tape the skewer to the moon. Like this. Then we take whatever you're going to hold up the, the moon and the earth with. I'm going to use Play-Doh. Um, so I can just take out the Play-Doh here and stick the moon in Play-Doh. There you go. And then the same thing for the Earth. And I'll actually keep all the Play-Doh in here just because it helps hold it together. And there you go. Now you can go ahead and perform your eclipses. So we get everything lined up here. We can go ahead and do our solar eclipse and our lunar eclipse. Um, so thanks, Geometry-Tartino, for inquiring about this, um, about how to set this up. This would be a great class presentation or for any older child that wants to independently do this at home or, I guess, in the classroom. Um, so have fun with that. Um, if you or anyone else has any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, but I want to take a minute and discuss uh, some tips on how to use this at home or in the classroom for educators and for for caregivers because um, this is a concept that you can use for even the youngest child so for toddlers and preschoolers for example you can simply put the flashlight down and turn it on and let them experiment with different objects going through going through the light um, and have them experiment with the shadows because that's exactly what an eclipse is is different shadows from the moon from the earth and so you can use that terminology so they start to hear that terminology um, and start to understand the concept of of shadows and um, have having fun with having fun with science uh, for slightly older kids you can have them help set up this experiment and then experiment with it and play around with it and um, see what happens when you bring things closer to the light when you bring things farther away from the light what happens to the shadows um, so lots of different things that you can do. Thanks for watching Astronomy for Kids with Dr. Richard Pearson.